Hey guys, it is Tuesday here in West Virginia, and we're going to do a 2 for Truckin' Tuesday. Usually it's a 2 for Tuesday or a Truckin' Tuesday. We're kind of combining both because we have two green light Ram chargers for you to take a look at. Uh, one is actually a Chase, and one is a regular release. They're not the same truck, but... We will start with the regular release. This is probably the latest variation of the Ram Charger released from Green Light. They have a new Trail Duster coming up soon in the Hobby Store, or Hobby Shop series that they have that has a figure or some kind of accessory that comes with the vehicle. And the package looks like a Hobby Shop from like I don't know, some old country store or something like that. It's pretty cool looking. I mean, the way it's packaged and stuff. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean they're only sold at hobby shops. You probably can find them elsewhere. Uh, but actually, I cannot say I recall ever seeing them at Walmart. Most of the time when I found them, they were at hobby shops. <laughs> so anyways, um, it's not a hobby exclusive like this one is what I'm trying to say. It's just a Hobby Shop series. So, it's a Trail Duster, which is pretty cool. I actually do not have a Trail Duster in my collection of Mopar trucks yet, so that will probably be my first one, unless I can start finding some of them for a reasonable price. Some of these Ram Chargers and Trail Dusters have started going for big bucks, or at least people are asking big money for them. I don't necessarily think they're selling for that, but you never know, because there hasn't been no auctions for some of the hard-to-find ones for quite a while. Um, but anyways, this guy you can still buy in bulk if you want to for like six bucks each plus shipping on eBay. And that's what I did. I bought one. I think all together it cost me like 12 bucks to get it shipped to the door. Six for the truck and six for shipping. So this is your Texas Department Public Safety Highway Patrol vehicle. Uh, it's a 1978 Dodge Ram Charger. And... Limited edition, doesn't state how many they made, so it's probably a mass production. On the back side, same thing, the picture of the state Texas with Texas Department, Public Safety, Highway Patrol, Green Light, and there they show you, you can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at GL Collectibles. And then their website, www.greenlightcollectibles.com, and your licensing stuff. So let's get this guy out and take a look at him. I've already cut it. This time I wasn't so clean with the cutting. This one actually was a little tough. <laughs> As you can see, the, the plastic kind of broke, but it's okay. Because <clears throat> this package will probably get tossed. I don't think I will display this in its package. Oh, that's a little tough. There we go. Finally. Um, it will probably stay in the display case or on a shelf or something like that. So, this is the second Ram Charger police vehicle they've made. There's actually a hitch and tow uh, set. I don't know if they're called hitch and tow where they come with the truck, trailer, and a vehicle to put on the trailer. I think they're still hitch and tow, but I'm not sure. Um Anyways, they have the Terminator one, and it's the Terminator Monaco, and it's the vehicle that's being towed on the trailer, and the tow vehicle is a Ram Charger, and it looks really good. It's, like, painted up black and white like a police vehicle usually is with the white door, black fenders, black quarters, and such, white top with the light bar. Um, but those are very hard to find nowadays, and when you do find them, they're expensive, and it seems like the Chase variants of these Ram Chargers are worth less than the regular variants because of the way that they did them. There are most of the Chase variants of these Ram Chargers are the green wheels and green base, which myself, I don't like. I don't mind if they're green paint with regular wheels and tires. That's cool. Uh, but if it's like green wheels, green base, eh. I could take it or leave it. Green base I can deal with as long as the wheels and tires are not green. Even green tires, sometimes I like the color tires. I used to really like them and I collected Chase stuff. But now it's I like stuff that's more realistic. So as you can see, he's got the spare tire on the back. The match, the wheels and tires on 
the Ram Charger itself. And this is still numbered, but what's weird, it looks like it has two numbers on it. It's like 2,674 with 1,715 stamped on top of it. <laughs> so this one... Uh, accounts for two of the production numbers, I guess, but it's kind of strange. So, yeah, you never know how many of these are really out there, especially since they don't state on the package. It just says limited edition. When they used to put the production number, like one of 4,500 or something, it was believable, but nowadays you never know. So, like all of the Ram Chargers and Trail Dusters, the roof just comes right off, and you have nice detailed interior. And you can see this one is a stick. It's pretty cool. Nice little detail there. And I wish all of them had a cage and the top. The ones that usually have the cage do not come with a top. I don't know why they did that. I guess cost cutting. And the ones with the top does not have a cage. And it's not because it doesn't fit. Because I've tried, and I'll even show you in a moment, that the top does fit on the ones with a cage. So it's kind of a shame that they did not do that, and I can't get my finger in there to open the hood, so I'm not even going to bother, but the hoods do open on these. Um, detailed windshield trim, wipers, and your sun visors are part of your window, so they're not detailed, they're just clear. Uh, one of mine, uh, the, actually the great outdoors one, I was, uh, messing with the windshield and I broke one of the visors off. I actually think I'm going to take the other one off too, because it looks more realistic in my opinion, but I don't plan to have the top off of that one too much. So you have nice detail on tail lights, gas cap, and the Texas logo, Ram charger emblem on the fender leg, nice detailed grill, Dodge on the upper trim above it your marker lights and headlights pretty cool looking little truck and then we have number two this is the all-terrain and this is a green machine and i know i just told you guys i despise these things but this is the actually the series one all-terrain so this is the uh debut release of the all-terrain series which is a pretty cool series um and as you can see he has a cage but no top which kind of sucks and you flip it over on the back it tells you what was in this series one you had a 68 ford bronco a 72 ford bronco to 78 dodge ram charger a 2010 jeep wrangler mountain edition a 2014 Ram 1500 Sport and a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Hard Rock. So, let's get him out and take a look at him. And I've already cut this open. Yes, I did. And I know I was just being negative on these type of green machines when I was telling you guys a moment ago about green wheels and green tires and so forth. But, this thing was very very cheap i couldn't pass it up because i was looking at the regular ones the regulars are usually about i think the cheapest one i seen on ebay was 18 bucks to like 25 or 30 it doesn't mean they're gonna get that get that much out of them but those are the only ones available right now i didn't really look and see what they were selling for when they are up for bid um but as i said you don't have that option right now so i seen this one here and he is number two. This is number 117. I'm thinking that this set of greenies was numbered separately because that is a pretty low production number. And on this one too, um, I should have showed you guys, but, and I will. It just says limited edition. There's no production numbers there. So, uh, anyways, yeah, this thing was only 13 bucks shipped to the door it was 13 with free shipping so i could not pass it up what i'm going to do is pull these wheels off and pop a set of other wheels from m2 on it i have a set of five slots with a kind of a low profile tire but they'll look good on this truck since it's not jacked way up in the air and it kind of looked like the lime green one i did not too long ago to go except i think it'll look a little better than that because the back wheels are not so deep dish the only thing i'm going to do is leave the spare 
because I don't have an extra will for the spare. <laughs> so I'll just leave this spare with the green will, which is fine. And then the green base, that way when people do look at it from different views, they'll be like, wow, that was a green machine and you will swapped it. <laughs> but um, yeah, as I said, I just don't really dig these green wills. If they would have done like the green upper body and had the stock black will or white will, I think this is white wills. I would have been fine with that. Um, and such, but it wasn't. So anyways, going back to the top thing, as I said, you know, you would think maybe the roll bar is the reason they don't put roofs on these things, but it's not. As you can see, look at that. That roof fits perfect, and it looks cool. You can see the cage through the side glass. Very, very sweet looking. Um, this side sets up a little high, but that is not because of the cage. It's because of some plastic. Yeah, see, now it's setting down flush. Oh, don't want to drop him. So that is pretty cool. That's one thing I don't know about, but I need to look on Google and see if there's anybody doing 3D printed parts for these so I can get the roof uh, for the ones that don't come with them. Um, if anybody has any info of that, please leave it in the comments because I'd like to get some aftermarket roofs to put on my ram chargers that do not come with roofs which is only one right now but as i said if i can find them for reasonable prices like i don't know 12 13 dollars something like that each or cheaper i may pick them up even if they don't come with a roof and as you can see this one's even detailed a little better i guess because they knew it was going to be topless they actually painted the visors instead of leaving them clear so that's an extra little detail there that the others don't have with the roof. As you can see, and same thing with the other ones I have with the pop-off roof. The visors are clear. The lime green one, I don't think even has visors. I would have to take a look at it again, but it's on the other side of the room. So anyways, in the future, I'm going to do a wheel swap on this. I'll make a video of it too. That way I can make all the purest chase collectors cringe and see me rip the wheels off of a green machine and putting regular wheels back on it. But that's it for our Trucking Tuesday, guys. And I probably won't be back again until Friday to do our free at Friday. So just turn on your notification bell. That way you know when I do release a new video. But most likely it's going to be Friday, but if I do surprise you with one in between now and then, your notification bell will let you know. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Help support our channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on Friday, if not sooner.